everyone and welcome back to my channel and happy Founders Day to all of my sorors out there. Happy January 13th. Today we are celebrating 105 years of devoting our lives to sisterhood, scholarship, and service. And that is a big deal. And of course we have to give thanks to our 22 illustrious founders. Um, but today, speaking of Founders Day, uh, today I'm going to be talking about In Search of Sisterhood by Paula Gidding. Um, I did a video about this book a long, long time ago on my first ever booktube channel, um, but I since got rid of that channel and got rid of that video and decided to re-record this video. Um, so it's not going to be too long because... In Search of Sisterhood is basically our history. It is our history of how Delta Sigma Theta came to be. Um, a lot, I know a lot of sores, if not all sores, have read this book. And it was a very detailed account about how Delta got to where it is today. Um, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated was founded January 13th, 1913 by 22 sorors. Um, they started it in hopes to create a sisterhood that would that would get involved in political awareness, um, international involvement, um, physical and mental health. They would just be involved in everything that the black community needed it to be in. Um, by starting off in 1913, you know, there were not a lot of laws and rules and regulations that helped women, especially black women, be impactful in politics. So Delta decided they were going to change that and as part of the women's suffrage move movement, um, marched and helped to earn women's right to vote. Uh, especially black women's right to vote, as well as so many other amazing things. Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated was founded on Howard University's campus and has since spread nationwide as well as worldwide with a lot of international chapters as well. Um, I, I personally became a member of Mew Chapter at the University of Pittsburgh in spring 2013, so I am not that old in this, but I have a lot of amazing sorors and family members who are part of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, and in such, I feel like I've been a part my entire life, but I knew as soon as I joined that the begin like it was just the beginning of what impact we could do as a sorority for myself. Um, a lot of you have seen my mother on this channel. Um, my mother is a part of Delta Sigma, Theta, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated as well. She's actually a charter member of the Lambda Theta chapter down at the University of Arkansas. Um, so she has helped shape the University of Arkansas. They were actually the first um, they were actually the first organization of National Panhellenic Council on that campus. So that was a really big deal for them. Um, but more about <laughs> In Search of Sisterhood. Um, like I say, it is basically, it is a history book. It is a history book of Delta Sigma Theta and where they got today. So I'm not gonna lie, it's a very, very dry book. It's a history book. You know, it gives you dates, people's names, times. I know I've got post-it notes in here of important things. Um, but so it, it, it is very, very dry. Uh, it does, it breaks down how the first chapters were started, um, you know, going from alpha to omega and how each chapter was started. And by Mu being a single letter chapter, we have a very long history. You know, Mu chapter was founded in November 21st, 1921 by seven charter members. And so we have a long history and we are actually mentioned in this book as well. So that is pretty awesome. And you see here, we've got Alpha chapter at Howard University. Here's a picture from the book. This is our Alpha Chapter from Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated from the book and they helped shape what we are and what we stand for 
today. If you look through history, you can find many women who have helped shape history. Of course, we have a lot of amazing Delta women in politics, including Atlanta's own mayor incumbent, Sora Keisha Lance Bottoms. Um, we also have had some amazing figures throughout history, including Sora Sh Shirley Chisholm. She was the first black member US of Congress and the first African American and first woman to run as a major party candidate for the presidency. Um, we also had um, Soror Loretta Lynch, who was the Attorney General and was the first African American woman to do so. And then just a few other popular names in the Delta community include Soror Soledad O'Brien, Soror Keisha Knight Pulliam, Soror Lena Horn, Soror Aretha Franklin, and Soror Robert Flack. And then some other authors or people who have books out right now um, are Soror Dr. Nikki Giovanni. Soror Cicely Tyson and Soror Angela Bassett. Um, if if you are looking to learn more information about Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, this is a great book to start off with. Uh, like I said, it is very dry because it's a history book, but we have had such a major impact on history that there is a lot in here and it is worth knowing. Um, if you just want to know more about NP National Panhellenic organizations in general this is also a great book to start off with um, talk to your family members some of your family members probably know some deltas um, talk talk to people get to know them and it's a good way to start learning a little bit more about black history in the 20th century because um, we're in the 21st century when I think about that um, but anyway, during the rest of the month of January, I am going to be trying to talk about other authors who are also sorors this month. So look out for more of our sister shout outs for the month of January and probably also through the month of February for Black History Month as well. But don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Um, on this video and to my channel. Find me on social media where I'll be doing more sister shout outs on my Instagram page and through Twitter. And a special oh to my sorors. Happy Founders Day. Have fun celebrating. Don't forget to do some sort of service project. I know I will be at the Martin Luther King March. And so until next time, everybody, keep turning the pages.